What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. Sa simbahan, dalawa ang kapistahan ni San Juan. Ang kanyang pagsilang na ating ipinagdiriwang ngayon, June 24. At ang kanyang kamatayan na mas kilala sa tawag na Passion of St. John tuwing August 29. Para sa ating pagninilay, hayaan ninyong gamitin ko ang pangalan ng dakilang propetang ito sa Ingles bilang acronym. John. J. O. H. N. J. O. H. N. John. J. Stands for Joy. Naalala ho ba ninyo noong dumalaw si Maria kay Elizabeth? When Elizabeth heard the greeting, she felt the baby kick. Joy made the baby leap for joy in the womb of Elizabeth when she welcomed Mary. Ibig sabihin na kahit nasa sinapupunan pa lamang siya ng kanyang ina, ay mararamdaman ang galak na gampanin ang misyong nakaalaan. He is filled with joy. He is indeed a joyful prophet. Ito rin po ang sinasabi sa atin bilang mga alagad to be a joyful Christian. Sabi nga ni Pope Francis in his homily at the morning mass at the Casa Santa Maria, joy is not to allow ourselves to throw up our arms in despair in our misfortunes. Pessimism is not Christian. Dagdag pa niya, joy always brings us in haste because the grace of the Holy Spirit does not recognize lowness. It always pushes us going forward and forward and forward. Like the wind in the sails on the boat. J. Joy. O. Offer. Offer. My friends, John offered his whole life to prepare the way of the Lord. In his offering of life, makikita natin na talagang sineryoso niya ito. Sineryoso niya. Hindi po siya pa petics, petics. Ang kanyang pag-aalay ng buhay ay todo. Todo na lubos. Todo na ubos. Todo na buhos. Kaya makikita natin kung paano siya nabuhay. Mahilig siyang mag-fasting, hindi lang tuwing Ash Wednesday, hindi lang tuwing Good Friday. Mahilig siyang mag-fasting. Sa katunayan, ang lagi niyang kinakain ay honey, mga insekto, tulad ng locust and grasshopper. At saan siya nakatira? Sa desierto. At anong kanyang pananamit? Hindi Giordano. Hindi Pensya. Kundi camel skin. At kung magdasal siya, day and night. Don't get me wrong, na dapat magsuot din tayo ng camel skin, makatikayayan. At kumain ng mga insekto. Yuck! Wala po akong sinasabing ganoon. The point is this. My friends, 
John did not let anything get in his way, but kept his heart set on Christ. Even when he could have chosen his own way, he did not allow his own desires or even other people interfere what he knew he was there to do. He lived with focus, determination, and purpose. He knew and understood God's call, and he pursued it with his whole heart and life. He offered his whole 100%. O, offer. Age, humility, humility. John the Baptist was a humble leader. Many people followed John, came to hear him preach, and followed him wherever he goes. At itong kapansin-pansin, he did not let that make him become proud and self-focused. Deep humility and obedience characterize his life and ministry. Sabi nga niya, I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me will come one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not fit the curry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Ang itinuturo niya ay si Jesus at hindi ang sarili. Siya lamang po ay tagadala, bearer of the spotlight upang makita ang marinig ay si Jesus. Hindi siya nasilaw sa katanyagan. He lived solely to point Jesus. Age, humility. Let's make a review. J, joy. O, offer. Age, humility. N, name. Name, pangalan. The name of our today's saint is John. And his name speaks a lot. The name John is derived from the Hebrew name Yohanan, meaning Yahweh is gracious. Totoong naramdaman ni na Elizabeth at Zacharias ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Imagine ang tanda-tanda na nila pero pinagpala pa rin sila ng anak na lalaki. Tunay ngang kay buti ng Diyos. God is good and He is good all the time. May mga pagkakataon na nalalambot ang ating pag-asa, lalong-lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Maraming mga tanong na hinahanapan ng sagot. Gayun paman, panghawakan po natin ang pangalang John. God is Gracious. Kung kaya't, let this be our prayer na sana matapos na ang bangungot dulat dulot ng COVID. Sana maging normal na ang lahat. And take note of this, hindi ko po tinutukoy dito ang new normal. Kasi ang new normal ay hindi pa rin normal. Ang tinutukoy ko, ay yung talagang normal. 
Nang na ibig kong sabihin ay hindi ako ma- matatakot kahit magiging marumi ang aking kamay. Hindi yung kada pasok ko sa bahay o kung saan man ay lagi akong nilalagyan ng alcohol at inister ni thermal scanner. Hindi yung kapag may kausap ako ay dapat three feet away. Hindi po yun ang tinutukoy ko. Ang tinutukoy ko ay yung talagang normal. Ang bumalik na yung dati, walang takot na lumabas. Walang takot na makipagkwentuhan. Walang takot na makisalamuha sa marami. And as we celebrate the solemnity of the birth of John the Baptist, we claim na matatapos ang lahat ng mga ito because God is, quote-unquote, John. God is gracious. J. Joy. Mabuhay ng may galak kahit maraming mga pagsubok. O, offer, ibigay ng todo ang buhay sa Diyos. Hindi 25%, hindi 50%, kundi 100%. Age, humble, humility. Be the bearer of the spotlight at hayaan ang Diyos ang manaig, ang makita at marinig. Name and name. God is gracious. Hindi tayo pababayaan ng Diyos. Manalig, kumapit. John. We pause for a while for silent reflection.